Hello, my name is Frank Marchese. I'm the design director um, of uh, the Blue Marlin brand. This is our first year actually launching the new Blue Marlin, or new and improved Blue Marlin. And uh, we try to keep in the same DNA as the original, when it was extremely popular in the 90s. What we try to do is offer a new uh, finish on our t-shirts. You know, the quality and the hand feel and the look itself. Uh, so that's been pretty successful for us and uh, the stores uh, such as uh, Bloomingdale's, uh, Nordstrom's has responded really well. We, we have some other process going on some wool. Uh, we do wool jackets and we have a special process to vintage them. And the vintaging of the jacket actually is, took a lot more time for development than the actual making of the jacket. We have a London tea, I, I believe, which was appropriate for the London Games, for the Olympic Games this uh, July and August. We have a, an old uh, Las Vegas Pacific Coast League uh, baseball teams. They were formed uh, during the war and prior to the war. And those teams uh, now don't exist, but they were very important at that time. We do the West Coast League, we usually do brighter colors because they actually had uh, brighter colors at that time on their uniforms. Um, uh, we do a lot of Brooklyn type of uh, t-shirts, but not just Brooklyn, we, we get more involved in the Williamsburg uh, uh, kind of uh, neighborhood games and stickball, which was very popular around the Brooklyn area during the 50s and 60s. We have some uh, vintage uh, sport events from uh, Italy and this is a uh, track event as well as um, 1950 uh, soccer match. The three products we'd always stick to basically is our, our hooded sweat, our track jackets, and of course the tees. On that, we can always, uh, then we can apply um, a nostalgic uh, event. There's a lot more that goes into the development of it than, than people realize. 